Hello class, this is a video tutorial on depreciation as a geometric sequence. As products become worn down or obsolete over time, it loses its value. The amount of value loss is often a percentage of the current value of the item. The depreciation of an item is closely related to the compound interest. It's given as A of N equals P bracket 1 minus r to the power of n. So a of n is given as the value of the item after n years, sorry. Uh, depreciation is actually given as years often. Principal, well it's the principal amount, the original value of the item. r is the compound interest rate and n is the time period. Although more appropriately, I believe this should be called a depreciation rate. Depreciation. De depreciation rate. A geometric sequence can be formed in the same manner as seen in the previous video. So here's the geometric progression. P bracket 1 minus r, the next one is p bracket 1 minus r squared, so on and so on, until we get our formula, p bracket 1 minus r to the power of n. So let's do an example here. An espresso machine was bought on January 1st, 2016 for $15,000, and it depreciates by 12.5% per annum. How much has the machine lost by January 1st, 2025. So let's quickly summarize this. Our principal value is 15,000. Our rate, let's do this as a decimal, 0 0.125. Our N, well, how many years have passed since 2016 till 2025? That would be nine years n is 9. So calculating this, a after 9 years is going to be 15,000, 1 minus 0 0.125 to the power of 9. 15,000, 1 minus 0 0.125 to 5 to the power of 9. So the machine after 9 years is worth $4,509.87 to the nearest cent. However, the question specifically asked is how much value has the machine lost by January 1st? So this here is the current value of the item the amount lost is the original value, 15,000, minus 4509.87. We'll just take this amount here. I will do 15,000, take away that amount. It's lost 10,000. Four hundred and ninety dollars and thirteen cents. Okay, so let's keep going here. In which year will the value drop below ten percent of the original value? Okay, so in this case, they're asking an n. So n is what we are looking for. We have the original value. We have the rate, and in this case, we need another value of A of N. A of N is 10% of the original value. So we're looking for 1,500, which is just 0 0.1 times uh, 15,000. So we're looking at which time it will be equal to 
1,500. So substituting these in, let me just copy paste this, makes it a lot easier. So we have A of N, we have our original value P, and 1 minus R, let's actually quantify that, 1 minus 0 0.1. 25, making it a little bit easier, 0 0.875 to the power of n. Okay, solving for n, dividing both sides by 15,000, well, 1,000 over 15,000, that's 10%, so 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.875 to the power of n. We've been here before. Let's do some logarithms. Ln of 0 0.1 equals n ln 0 0.875. n is equal to the natural log 0 0.1 over the natural log 0 0.875. n 0 0.1 over ln that's giving us 17.2437 years but because we have to find whole value solutions for a um, for a series we have to take the next whole number of 18 years So, I um, hope that gave you an insight into um, depreciation as a geometric progression and an example on how we might use it. Hope to see you in the next video. Best of luck.